What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. In today's video, we're going to be looking at chapter 52 of my textbook, where we will learn how to express don't know whether to X or to Y. And the reason I think this lesson is so useful is because in addition to just using it on a daily basis, it'll really help make your Japanese sound a lot more natural, a lot more native. And uh, we'll look at an example to show what I mean. So here we have uh, two separate questions asking if someone is going to go back to back home to America. So in Japanese, we can say, Kare wa America ni kaerimasu ka? Kaerimasen ka? Anata wa sore wo shitteimasu ka? So is he going back to America or is he not going back to America? Do you know? So. This is obviously in, in English, it sounds a little strange. Maybe you can shorten this and we're going to use kadoka to express the same thing in a much more concise and natural sounding way. So instead of saying this long two questions, we could combine the two questions into one using kadoka by saying, Kare wa America ni kaeru kadoka shitteimasu ka? Kare wa America ni kaeru kadoka? So do you know whether or not he's going back to America? Do you know whether he's going back to America or not? So this is how we can use this whether or not expression in, in Japanese with kadoka. Okay, so as you can see, this second sentence is a lot cleaner, a lot faster, and of course, a much more natural way of, of speaking. And what's really nice about this structure is that we can use it with e adjectives, na adjectives, verbs and nouns, all, all the same way. So uh, we'll look at some example sentences and first we'll take a look at our E adjectives. So the structure of the sentences will look something like this. We'll have subject wa, E adjective, kadouka, and wakaranai. So we're just going to use wakaranai. You can use any verb, we'll see later, but just for the sake of looking at the structure, we'll use wakaranai. So number one, kore wa oishi kadouka wakaranai. So I don't know whether this is good or not. I don't know if this is good. I don't know if whether or not this is good. So I don't know if this is good or not. Number two, unagi wa takai kadouka wakarimasen. Unagi wa takai kadouka wakarimasen. So unagi means eel. So I don't know if eel is expensive or not. I don't know whether or not eel is expensive. Takai kadouka, wakarimasen, wakaranai. And number three, shak kilo wa omoi kadouka, wakarimasen. Shak kilo wa omoi kadouka, wakarimasen. So I'm an American, so I don't know whether or not 100 kilograms is heavy. I don't know whether 100 kilograms is heavy or not. Omoi kadouka. So as you can see, we don't have to change the adjective. We just have takai kadouka, omoi kadouka. Uh, oishi kadoka. So we just append kadoka as as it is. So very, very simple. And now we'll take a look at our other adjectives, the na adjectives, and it works the exact same way. We just append kadoka and our sentences will look very similar. So we have number one. Kono sakana wa shinsen kadoka wakarimasen. Kono sakana wa shinsen kadoka wakarimasen. I don't know whether this fish is fresh, shinsen, or not. Number two, New York City wa anzen kadouka wakaranai desu. New York City wa anzen kadouka wakaranai desu. So I don't know whether or not New York City is safe, anzen, anzen kadouka. What, safe or not, wakaranai, I don't know. And number three, kanojo wa genki kadouka wakarimasen. Kanojo wa genki kadouka wakarimasen. So I don't know whether she is in good health or not. Genki, healthy. And so that's it for our adjectives. As you can see, very simple, just add kadoka and you get whether, adjective, or not. And now we're going to look at some verbs. And uh, like I mentioned before, we aren't limited to only using wakaranai, wakarimasen. We can use other verbs as well. And we'll take a look at that here. So our structure is going to look something like this. Subject wa, object wo, or ni, and a verb, kadoka, and another verb. Number one, watashi wa sono eigo wo mita koto ga aru ka dou ka aboite masen. Watashi wa sono eigo wo mita koto ga aru ka dou ka aboite masen. So I don't remember if I've seen that movie or not. Mita koto ga aru ka dou ka aboite masen. So oboeru, to remember. I don't remember if I've seen that movie or not. Number two, mada kanojo wa kyo no meeting ni kuru ka dou ka wakaranai. 
まだ彼女は今日のミーティングに来るかどうかわからない。So, I still don't know. まだ、まだわからない。Don't know still, don't know yet. Whether she is coming or not. 来るかどうかわからない。Number three. 試験に合格できるかどうか心配しています。試験に合格できるかどうか心配しています。So I'm worried about whether or not I'll be able to pass the test. So 試験 is a test. 試験に合格する。To pass a test. 合格できるかどうか。Can pass or not. So 心配しています。I'm worried. And finally, we'll take a look at our nouns. And the structure will look something like this. Subject は Noun かどうか And we'll use a verb. So we have number one. 彼はアメリカ人かどうかわからない。彼はアメリカ人かどうかわからない。I don't know if he is American or not. アメリカ人。Number two. これは日本のブランドかどうか調べている。これは日本のブランドかどうか調べている。So I am looking up. 調べる。調べている。Whether this is a Japanese brand or not. 日本のブランド。かどうか調べている。And number three, これは本物のダイヤモンドかどうかわかりません。これは本物のダイヤモンドかどうかわかりません。So I don't know whether this is a real diamond or not. 本物、real or genuine。ダイヤモンド。That's obviously カタカナ for diamond。かどうか。A real diamond or not? わかりません。I don't know. And of course,、uh, we aren't limited to just making statements. We can also ask Questions using Kadoka. So we'll see、uh, some examples. So, number one, Tokyo wa nihon ni aru kadoka shite imasu ka? Tokyo wa nihon ni aru kadoka shite imasu ka? So, do you know if Tokyo is in Japan or not? So, of course, we use aru because Tokyo is a city. Nihon ni aru kadoka shite imasu ka?、Uh, number two, Okasan no tanjobi wa gen kongetsu kadoka shite imasu ka? Okasan no tanjobi wa 今月かどうか知っていますか So do you know if mom's birthday is in this month? Is this month? 今月。今月かどうか。So we have the kanji for now and the kanji for month. So 今月 means this month. And next month would be 来月。And number three. 彼はパーティーに来るかどうか言いましたか彼はパーティーに来るかどうか言いましたか So did he say? 言いましたか Whether or not he's coming to the party? パーティーに来るかどうか言いましたか Did he say he was coming or not coming to the party? So we can ask questions and make statements with Kadoka. And number four, グリーンランドは寒いかどうか知っていますかグリーンランドは寒いかどうか知っていますか Do you know whether Greenland is cold or not? 寒いかどうか And number five, 日本は安全かどうか知っていますか日本は安全かどうか知っていますか Do you know whether or not Japan is safe? And of course, maybe we could have a city. Nagasaki は安全かどうか知っていますか Do you know whether or not Nagasaki is a safe place? And that's it. So as you can see, we can make questions with our verbs, our nouns, our adjectives. We can make statements. We can use different verbs instead of wakaru, wakaranai, any, anything, any sentence you can make, we can use、uh, kadoka. And so now we're going to、uh, basically fill in the blanks to make sentences using kadoka. And some of them will be questions, some of them will be statements, but basically we're just going to read the sentence. So I don't know if I can do it by myself. So we have hitori de, and we have the verb we're going to use, and we need to fill in the blank with kadoka. So I think this practice exercise is, is not very difficult, but again, you can go to learn Japanese from some guy.com, print out the PDF, and just write down your answers, right? If you, the more you write it down, The more used to、uh, the structure your brain will get, and it's very, very good practice. So、uh, print those out, write them down. So here you have numbers one, two, and three. Complete the sentences using kadoka. Four and five. Six, seven, eight. And the last one, number nine. So pause the video, answer those, and now let's check. Alright, so number one, we have Hitori de, dekiru ka dou ka wa karanai. So I don't know if I can do it by myself. Number two, kono ryori wa karai ka dou ka shitte imasu ka? So do you know if this food is spicy? Karai ka dou ka. Number three, kono mondai wa kantan ka dou ka wa karimasen. Kantan ka dou ka wa karimasen. Kantan, easy, simple. 
Number four, このモデルはそのモデルより便利かどうか知っていますか So do you know if this model is more convenient or easy to use than, than that one? 便利かどうか。Number five, 昨日彼は具合が悪かったから今日仕事に来るかどうかわからない。So yesterday, he was not feeling well, so I don't know if he's going to come into work today. 今日仕事に来るかどうかわからない。I don't know if he's going to come or not. Number six, ボスはもう帰ったかどうか知っていますか So here we have 帰る the verb in the past tense, right? So we can also use this with the past tense. 帰ったかどうか Do you know if he went home or not? Number seven, 犬は猫の餌を食べられるかどうか知っていますか犬は猫の餌を食べられるかどうか知っていますか So 餌 means like food for an animal. So do you know whether or not dogs can or are able to eat cat food? 食べられるかどうか Number eight, 今夜は寒いかどうか知っていますか So do you know whether or not tonight is going to be cold? 今夜 So remember we have the character for now and night. So tonight, 今夜 And number nine, この辺りは静かかどうかわかりませんわかりますかこの辺りは静かかどうかわかりますか So do you know whether or not this area is quiet? 静かかどうか And that's it. So again, a very simple exercise, just adding kadoka to you know, a verb or an adjective, a noun. But this is extremely useful. So the more you write, the better and more easy it will get. So be sure to write all these things down. Practice, practice, so that you can do it without thinking. But uh, anyway,、uh, that's going to do it for this chapter. Basically, what we learned was that we can use kadoka to take two sentences or questions, statements, whatever, and make them into one. So it's a much more natural sounding way of speaking. We can append kadoka to nouns, verbs, and adjectives, you know, conjugated verbs or whatever. And we can also ask questions using kadoka. So ask questions, make statements, whatever. I think I already said that. But、uh, anyway, number、uh, next week, we're going to look at chapter 53, and we're going to learn how to talk about starting. Continuing or ending in action. So、uh, be, sure, be sure to check that out next time. And as always, thank you guys for you know, watching and liking and commenting. And a special thank you for those of you who are subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate the support. And please be sure to tell a friend who's interested in studying Japanese. And also remember, you can find my book on Amazon if you're interested in studying ahead.、Uh, that's always appreciated if you, if you buy that. But、uh, thanks again, everybody, and we'll see you next time. またね。